What's up, Papa Power Addicts crew? Today's video of tearing apart Project Rust Bucket for its rebuild is we're taking out the tail lights today. Now, to some, this is going to be an elementary uh, type video. To some of you out there who have never worked on your rigs before or have never even worked on a car before, this video is for you. Those of us out there who's cranked wrenches for, for most of our lives, this is where we can step up being part of the community and help everybody else out. Now, if this is the first time you've landed on Power Axe YouTube channel, you need to hit that subscribe button because I've got a pretty cool build going on here with a 1993 model YJ. So hit that subscribe button so you will not miss the build series or any other cool videos I may release for you because I do Jeep videos, car videos, car uh, motorcycle videos, tool videos, cool tip videos, who knows what kind of video, but you need to subscribe so you don't miss them. So let's get on with getting these taillights out. Now we can see somebody's already tapped into the wiring here, but what you would normally do is just plug right here, pull this back. Let's see if I can do it with one hand with the camera in my hand. Yeah, ouch. There we go, separate the plug. Now, electrically, this one's loose. That's up for that. Might be a ground up there. So now what we need to do is, all the way down through there, we got these clips holding the harness in place. So we gotta pull those clips, so we drop the harness down on that end. Now to get these clips loose, get your screwdriver, get beside there. What you're gonna do is twist it a little bit. You'll get that unhooked. Sort of like that. It's where I need another hand. Get out there. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Typically you can use two hands and slide easy, but since one hand's holding the camera, that's how it's done. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them. Do that. You pull the, pull the harness across like that. And it goes up inside here. And right here you have another plug. Right there you got a plug. Push it clip back like right here. Disconnect that. And that part right there goes up to the tail light. So that's free. And that actually should pull straight through the body. So let's go find out. Okay, now right here you got a rubber grommet going in. This is inside the tub right next to the uh, roll bar. You take a rubber grommet and get your screwdriver, which I can't, I need both hands to do it. Maybe I can get lucky. Nope, guess not. But anyway, you'll get your screwdriver, wedge it down inside there. You're, you can push a grommet in enough to wedge it up above the sheet metal. And pull that whole thing out. And you see right there had oh, crap. See right there had had that lip that sits inside the hole. So now we're gonna pull the harness up. Get the bar. Get the first plug. Pull through. Pull the cover. Pull that part of the harness through. Da da. Then we take the rest of the harness, bring it back across the Jeep down all the way down this way where it's going around the roll bar and all that. We'll get that harness out of the way so we don't cut it. That's when I start slicing and dicing. Now that we've got the harness pulled out of the way, take the screws out of your lens. Inside each lens, right here, right here, right here, you got three 10 millimeter. Now let's get the other one out. Typical busted lens.
Ta da! There's the other one. Now, at this point, if you were just replacing your tail lights, what you would do is take this pigtail here, transfer it over to your new light. Be sure you get your um, ground, your turn, backup light, and all that stuff. Actually, your ground is right here. Whenever you tighten this right here, if this metal plate is your ground for the whole lighting system. Each one of these right here is going to be one's going to be for your brake light, one's for your running light, and one's for your backup light. So that's what you would do if you had new lights. You're going to put in. You just transfer your plugs over to your new ones, and you're good to go. All right, everyone. I know that was an easy video. A few screws, wires, not a big deal. Uh, like I said, that's to help people who have never really cranked any wrenches on cars whatsoever or you're new to a YJ not knowing where those parts are located at. So there you go. The three screws takes it out. Take care of your wiring harness. Pull the plug. Pretty simple. And if you're putting in new tail lights, like I just mentioned, simply transfer your plug over to your new tail lights. Or if you're ordering uh, YJ specific ones, you know, possibly may come with the proper plug already in place. You don't have to do any additional wiring. So, I mean, I can't. There's, don't ask me, no, will this particular tail light work? I, if I can't see the wiring harnesses, if I can't see the details of it, there's no way for me knowing, okay? But you can make pretty much any of them work. I mean, I've got LEDs, LED tail lights in my 91. They weren't hard to uh, wire up, and I put a video, a link to the video down in the description. So, everyone, if you liked that video, hit me with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, because you'll get notified of all these cool videos, and plus this cool build I'm working on right now. So don't miss a single video. Hit that subscribe. Leave me some comments down below. Make them educational. Make them happy. Make them whatever. So everyone must have out there. YouTube land. Peace out. Thanks for oh, thanks for hanging out with me. Peace out. Later, y'all.